So I'm going to cut just the outer part of the fig without getting into the fig, like like this, on that side, and here. Hopefully, it has pollen. This one never fails to me. Uh, if this one fails, it will be the first one. Oh my God. And if it fails, it's going to be on camera. The failing of this one. All right. It would be nice to let it dry for 24 hours, but I don't have the time right now. So, as you can see, oh my God, flower went down. Has pollen, has a lot of pollen. So I'm gonna try to collect on t on the three container little containers. Collect pollen. It has pollen, but not in the quantity that I was that I was expecting. But what can you do? But it has, it has, definitely has a lot. I really like this variety to collect pollen because it never fails. So, I have the other half here. You see? A lot of pollen here. Oh my God, I waste a little bit of pollen there. That's my phone. So I'm going to Try to do it with the strainer to collect the maximum amount of pollen. And put it here. Wow, I can see the all the dust. You see, you see all the pollen inside. Really, really good fake to obtain massive amounts of pollen
so this is what I got this is the pollen that I have um, this is one here see the pollen see the pollen here this is this is the other one here and this is the other one here so I think that, that, that I'm good with this because I have a problem with the previous pollination I prepare my um, water with sugar and I prepare like four, four ounces but I use uh, the, uh, on the same day and the next day and then the following day so I have problems with the second and third uh, pollination the, the one that I did in the same day I, I didn't have any problems but uh, the second and third day pollination uh, the fix uh, is starting to drop from the trees so I guess the, the maybe the water was I don't know, it got fermented or something. Now I'm going to cover then and I can put this in the fridge here without any problems. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc too. Very tight, uh, air tight and should be okay. So to prepare this, you will need distilled water, white sugar and the quantity is four grams of sugar and 200 milliliters of water. So you're gonna use the scale. And that's like one cup of water. If you have the, the cup to measure the water, this is one cup, the measurement of one cup. is exactly one cup of water and let me change the you need to grams uh, grams let me see the well, is 20 there yeah, I, I didn't put this in in zero, so uh, still why why he's giving me six? So you will need four grams of white sugar and a cup of water or two hundred milliliters of water. Then you're going to heat. In one second. Then you're going to warm the water. I'm going to put the sugar. That's all. You don't don't bring the water to uh, boil just enough to dissolve the sugar and that is ready so you have to let it uh, cool down and then mix this with the pollen when you're going to use so I'm going to save my water in these little little containers since I'm not going to use all of them at once. I'm gonna put it away, I'm gonna let it cool down and I'm gonna put it away on, on these little containers. So I'm gonna prepare each individually because I have the pollen in three different places. So here we go. I did get pollen from the 
dry um, fish that I used yesterday but not that much so this is my second pollination attempt because I want to redo some that I failed so I prepared this today and I'm going to do it again so this is the solution with the, the water with the pollen let me see the camera I, I see the pollen there suspended in the water do you see it? see it there so um, I'm gonna show you the size of the fix when I when I the size the ideal size of uh, the fix to pollinate now this one I failed all the fix on this on this variety here but still have two that grew I mean like in 15 days it grew but look look the, this is a penny anyways five cents on the euro my god I thought it was a penny it was, uh, um, this is the size of the ideal size of the fix when you want to pollinate them so I'm gonna do these two that are here do you see the osteol at the, uh, the fake is like ready it's, it's like receptive uh, right now uh, let's say if the wasp was here present in this area it will go through there the size of this one so this is the ideal size of the fix when you want to pollinate them could be like the 10 cents too I pollinated all this uh, two weeks ago it's a Martinen Carrimada I'm gonna show you the size no this is a little bit bigger than 10 cents this is, let me see if I find a fig that is this big so you have a, an idea look how beautiful is that one that one is pollinated uh, the ones that were not pollinated drop from Rosso di Trani uh, see you over there the one and they like three figs uh, fell from the tree but those one I know they are pollinated because they are like triple almost triple in size and and I can see you know the swelling is different from the normal one so those two are pollinated I'm, wait, I'm just waiting those here are pollinated too and I pollinate this when they were really really small like I would say like they were like this like this one here you see this is this is perfect perfect to be pollinated so I'm going to do this one now I 
and this shake the um, syringe so the pollen moves so what you do you insert the needle here see see how easy it went in that's done there just a little bit hopefully you know this one won't fall like the other one did because I'm, I'm blaming the that I use the water the next day so I'm going to do the remaining one See how easy it went in. Done. These ones like this, the needle goes, or the syringe goes very easy inside. They easy to pollinate. I already did these ones, but they are in the top of the tree. Um, in the top of the bucket here so it was a little bit difficult to do and I did this one too and it was very easy to do and I did this one too I have a, a layer here and, a, and the fake here let's see how that works this are some that I did like 15 days ago I guess that it took the pollen because they are getting like <laughs> like big very fast couldn't pollinate this one the other day because they are really high on the tree and then I really want to do one of those let's see if it's in the bucket I could do it with the bucket all right this is the ideal size you see these uh, Forastera they can review like 15 days ago these were forming and now they are like 15 days old and this is even with my left hand without applying like that much that much uh, force here you see how easy the needle goes in it's very receptive uh, to you know so you can you see, my left hand, almost applying no pressure, it's already pollinated that one. So this is the ideal size of, for the fix to be pollinated. You see, this is the one that I just did. It's about that size. I did those two on the top so this is the difference in size I pollinated that one 15 days ago and these two I didn't pollinate these two so they are they form on the, at the same time and you see the difference with the pollinated one and the unpollinated ones but I did put pollen today on these two because I have more in other branches of this variety.